And now it's Ask the Mayor with Bloomington's Mark Cruzan. Several people sent us questions this week via our website and Twitter, so we picked out a few and took them to the mayor. Here's what he had to say. I know you've been in contact with NDOT and the progress of I-69 through Bloomington. Amy wants to know what is being done with the hundreds of trees that have been taken down off of uh, Indiana 37. I do not know. I will say in terms of the, in terms of the trees, what, they, what NDOT does is commit for a, a two to one replacement so that for every tree that's lost, new trees are planted elsewhere in the, uh, in the community. Uh, at the state's expense as part of the project. Uh, with the, the project itself, I mean, our biggest concern are the issues that are occurring in, in Section 4 with soil erosion and you know, lack of, apparently lack of adequate controls that are in place. And, and we're trying to get in front of that with the state because eventually Section 5, which goes through the city boundaries, uh, will, will begin. Uh, Amy also asked about the road crossings on the Beeline Trail. There are some places, I guess, where cars can't see pedestrians or bikes that seem to be moving quickly and was wondering if there were any safety precautions or anything that might change in terms of, and she knows it's kind of a, you know, no pun intended, but a two-way street. You know, you don't want to put stop signs on every beeline crossing, but on the same token, she's concerned about safety there. Has that come up at all? Uh, well, it had, yeah. and that, again, we, before the construction, went through every single intersection, and then after construction have gone through uh, and changed some things around, moved the stop signs that are there for bikes, and cyclists and pedestrians back a little bit so there was more notice, more signage. Um, but I, I'd have to know what, in terms of spots where, where it's not, the visibility is low, I'd want to know where that is because I'm, I'm not familiar with any place where that's a problem. Um, but certainly we'll go out and take a look at any place that people feel um, that, that their safety isn't, isn't all that it should be. We'll jump to Karen. She wants to know if you would consider monitoring the aesthetics of some of the apartment buildings that keep going up downtown. Yeah, I mean, I certainly get, I have myself mixed opinions about some of the, uh, some of the buildings that have been built over the years, and we certainly hear that. You know, there are, there are already some design standards that are in place and uh, different types of building materials that are prohibited. You saw that debate even come up with the habitat development and what people wanted them to look like and be made out of. So there are probably more restrictions in place than some people might think. Karen would like to know more about um, if anything will be updated or, or changed with the parking meter pro uh, the parking meter situation. For her, her main problem is going to downtown churches for funerals and weddings during the week. Well, yeah, I guess in, in terms of the specifics of that particular uh, question, you know, there are dozens and dozens of cities with meters that uh, have churches in their downtowns and you know, people seem to be able to manage it. So I'm not sure that Bloomington's any more unique than any other community with that kind of an issue. Uh, the other thing is we can't, we can't set policy based on the exception. We can't, the number of funerals or weddings in the middle of a week uh, is so small compared to the daily demand that we have for parking downtown that we, that we can't set a policy based on uh, one person's need for one wedding maybe once a year. You can find the full conversation and the mayor's response to more questions at WTIUnews.org. And while you're there, send us a question to news at indianapublicmedia.org or you can tweet us at AskTheMayor. Next time we visit with Kokomo's Greg Goodnight.